Hey everybody, it's Laura with Jot and Tittle Typewriters. Got another typewriter for you today. 1960s Coronet Electric by Smith Corona. This is the original color. It's in great shape. Looks beautiful and um, it's really clean. I can't wait to show this off. Okay, let's start from the back, go to the front, and then I'll actually do the typing demo, which is the best part, if you ask me. This is going to be good um, for beginners. It's also going to be good for those working on maybe a second draft of a book. Um, but let's get into the typing and I'll, I'll explain the feel of it and who really it would be best for. But so before, let me just start with the mechanics, paper holder, margins, press and drag, All right? Paper holder right here. You kind of really won't use that. This is a 10 inch carriage electric typewriter with manual return. And when you hit the return handle, it's got advanced one, two or three lines, depending on how you, which, um, you have it set on. This is your line selector. On the right side is your paper release because sometimes your paper gets crooked and you need to fix it. So that's what that is for. To move the carriage, there's a carriage release lever on each side. You just pull that in, move the carriage, nice bell. Let's leave the carriage over to the left, pop open the top. You'll see the ribbon inside. We've inserted a universal ribbon and they're easy just to pop in and out, but you'll see these holes on here. See how that just fell down? There's a little pin down there and you wanna make sure that pin goes in one of those holes. So once you've got it in there, make sure it's threaded properly. We have installed a brand new ribbon. We do that for all of our typewriters. Also this ribbon, it's a little short, but it has a ton of ink in it. So you just need to reverse the direction, excuse me, of it. And you'll reverse the direction probably 30, 40, 50, 60 times before you need to change the ribbon. And you reverse the direction right here. It says rib rev. Remember to do that because sometimes you'll be typing along, especially at the beginning. And then all of a sudden your typewriter just stops and gets stuck or something happens. You're like, ah, and then deep breath and then check your ribbon, change the ribbon reverse, um, you know, flip your ribbon reversal switch and then all is well, okay? Color selector on the right side, red, black. This is your power switch. Your tab, you just hit the middle to go to tabs. You can set it or clear it here. Let's go ahead and copy set. That just determines how hard your type bars, which are these right here, will strike your paper. Just set it to however you want it. Let's go ahead and do a typing demo. Okay, you set the paper right there. No need to press it down in there. Just set it and then turn the handle. It pulls it right through. Okay, and I like to come halfway to make sure it's even. This is uneven, so I bring this forward. Get those lined up, re-engage, back down. Check my margins. Oops, I like to bring them in. Turn our typewriter on. And I'm gonna move this forward just a tad. Okay, let's go ahead and start typing. So this is a 1960s Smith Corona Coronet Electric. And this feels so good. I gotta tell you guys, um, you may think that, um, you know, obviously you guys only see the typewriters at work. Um, there are lots of times that I do a typing demo or a typing test test out our typewriters and they get sent back down to the shop before we actually do a video and upload them. And so there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. And today is one of those days where a lot went back down to the shop. So I'm getting a little discouraged, but this guy is doing, this one is a great typewriter and I'm so happy. It is, um, the font is beautiful. Uh, the keys are so easy. So, um, you know, this would be good for kids, for beginners, that you know what, it types really well. So even those of you who are looking for something to type a book on, this is gonna be a great affordable option for you. I mean, 
It sure it doesn't look like the black black gloss of the really old typewriters, but if you are just looking for a typewriter to really write out some great stuff on and you just want to use a typewriter, this is going to be amazing. I mean, and you can do it especially if you're a fast typist. Okay. I'm letting it go. Okay. You heard that bell. That bell tells you, hey, you're at the end of your margin. You either need to hit the return handle or stop. And in this case, I didn't get to finish my word, so I need to hit MR for margin release. Finish my word. There we go. And now I can go. So, there's that thing. So, yes, yeah, tell me, hey, you're out of room. Margin release lets me finish my word so I can go on. So, let's. It gets an A plus for me. Old fashioned smiley face. Okay. Oh my goodness, what a great typewriter. If you guys um, are on a budget or not even, you just don't even want to spend a ton of money on a typewriter, here you go. Excellent condition. Original, original paint. Um, gosh, it's so clean and it works beautifully. Thanks so much for watching. You all have a great day.